Hi, and uh, welcome to the LB0 Fox India YouTube channel. Uh, I've covered WinLink on HF through VARA in a couple of videos. Uh, you can find those up on top here. But what if you have a license class that doesn't allow you to use HF, or if you don't have an HF radio, or you think two meters is simpler? There is a way to do that. Actually, there are several ways, and I'm going to take a look at one of those now. I'm going to show you how to set up a Kenwood D700 for WinLink. And the D700 is an old mobile radio by Kenwood, which, in addition to being a 2 meter, 70 centimeter mobile radio, is also a radio with a built in TNC. So let's take a look at my settings here and uh, see what you have to do to get it working. First of all, you press the settings tab. Then the WinLink Express setup here. And you fill in your call sign, your WinLink password, and there's a field here for a recovery email address, which I highly recommend you to fill in. Because should you forget your password, you can have it sent to you by email, which actually is pretty great. Then you fill in your uh, grade square here, a six digit grade square, and mine's Juliet Oscar 59 Romeo Bravo. And on the right side here, you can fill in some optional contact information. And it's completely up to you if you want to do that or not. So let's see what else we got to do. Well, first of all, you're not going to choose VARA for this. You're going to choose Packet WinLink. Uh, and uh, when you've done that, you press Open Session. And the way I've connected this radio to the computer is through a USB to serial cable adapter. It's got a standard RS-232 port on the back, uh, so it's pretty easy to connect. So let's take a look at the settings here. I've set it as a Kenwood TMD 700 a band, but you see there are several other options here if you have other devices to connect with. Uh, as for the serial port, you got to check Windows Device Manager and fi uh, find the right serial port. The baud rate is 9600, and you set the TNC parameters for 1200 baud and some other settings which are completely standard down here. So when you've done this, you press update if you've changed anything or it's new or cancel for my case since I've already filled in the information. So let's see if this connects to the, uh, well, first of all, we're going to hit the channel selection here. And as with the HF, you get several different channels to uh, to connect to. Uh, I'm going to update this via the uh, internet, just to get an update as we did the last time. And these are the stations within 300 kilometers of my grid square, which is pretty much the range of, uh, of 2 meter and then some. So I'm going to choose the closest one, LA1T-10. And what I got to do now is I got to set the frequency on the radio, which you can see here. It's 144925. When you've done that, just double click here and you're pretty much ready. So as usual, check if the, uh, the band is free, then press start. And you'll hear the wind link and the packet radio sounds playing in the background here. And as with HF, you get a little bit of information while it connects. And uh, we'll see now that it runs the session. No new emails, but you still get a summary at the bottom here. And uh, after a little while now, you're going to get a disconnect message. And as you see here on the bottom, it says disconnect reported and the time of the disconnect. So that's pretty much it. We've now demonstrated and made a WinLink connection with the Kenwood D700. Let me know if there's anything you want to know. If you have any questions or you want me to demonstrate other WinLink aspects, I can surely do that on my channel as long as I have the required equipment. So. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, 7-3.